very scared to put this raid boss into the arena. Okay, you know, you know what? No, no, no. Scared? I don't think that's the right way to phrase it. Uh, I'm, I'm nervous. I'm very nervous. Why am I nervous? It's Bayonetta, for one, okay? And if you know anything about Amiibos, Bayonetta is probably... No, no, is guaranteed, like, one of the worst three or four Amiibos in terms of AI, putting things together, that sort of deal. Uh, so, not the strongest by any chance, but uh, I had fun training her. And uh, I, I figured, you know what? Eventually, everybody's going to become a raid boss, so might as well throw her out there now. We'll see how she does. Maybe she surprises us. Uh, 100%, I fully expect her to lose today. I, I pro I'll probably say minimum three times. That's how confident I am. Like, the, Okay, here's the thing about Bayonetta. I'll show you the stats as well. But here's the thing about Bayonetta. The Amiibos. Their recovery is not the greatest. They will have a lot of blunder, or, or Bayonetta will have a lot of blunders. And, uh, yeah, if you know anything, uh, you kind of got to recover in order to get back on the stage. And sometimes it, it just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. So she can she can put together some combos, um, you know, up special, side special, uh, you know, something like that. She can put together some stuff. I've seen it in training. It, it, it kind of gave me, you know, more confidence to put her out this week for uh, the raid boss. So... We'll see how she plays. I'm very excited, but as you can see, enthusiastic. 1425 attack, 2775 defense. Gave her air attack because, again, she does a lot in the air. Weapon attack, um, self-explanatory, I think. And then landing leg after her side special or up special just to help her get, you know, move a bit quicker. So, again, I think she's going to lose multiple times. But then again, maybe she surprises us. Maybe she, she only gets, like, one loss. Oh, I would be so happy. I would be so happy, but uh, we got to see that. And before, well, I mean, before we can get the final results, we have to get to the results. So let's make our way to the arena. Is it, is it safe to say that I'm scared? I don't know what's going to happen. Look, Bayonetta, everyone says she's the worst. She's horrible. She's terrible. One of the worst amiibos. She can't combo. She can't recover she can't do any of that stuff well i got oh my god okay okay good start good start but i want to see those combos we worked on combos in training so i want to see that in yes there we go down tilt down tilt was another thing we worked on there's a lot i needed to work on for bayonetta it was, i promise smash attacks were not like the one thing i was working on it was the combo game there's a lot you could do from up special to side special to down tilt to neutral air to forward air. There's a lot you can do. Bayonetta, I promise, has combo game. I promise. I'm just hoping to see it. So Bayonetta, oh no, Jesse, oh no, oh no. Yep, that happens. Oops. Well, well, well. Next up, here comes a true test, right? Here comes a true test. Ryan and Ike. Okay, Ben, now this is your time to shine. Let's show off some of those combos that um, I'm really hoping you do have. I, there we go, there we go, there we go. Let's, uh, we just gotta hit hit one of them uh, side specials, hit one of them up specials. And then, uh, that, okay, don't just throw it out randomly when he's not even there. That's not good. That is not good. There you go, down tilt. Good stuff. Or down air. Not down tilt. Wrong move, bro. Wrong move. Look, okay. So here's the thing about Bayonetta for me. Ooh, he stopped that one. Here's the thing about Bayonetta. I've never played... Oh, I like how she air dodged around that. Good. I never played Bayonetta in Smash Wii U in 3DS. Yeah, I bought her, but I hard... Okay, I hardly played her, okay? So in Smash Ultimate, there we go. He ain't coming back from that. I like that. See? Use the use that neutral special at the edge. Good, good ledge guarding right there. Good ledge guarding. But um, there we go. There we go. There's some stuff. There's a little bit of stuff. I'm hoping to see more. There we go. Start it off. No. Okay. Uh, he's doing a lot of smash attacks, which uh, I'm going to be honest. I'm a little surprised. There's, there we go. There we go. Okay. There's a little combo. There's a little one. We're starting off. Maybe she's just got to warm up today. Maybe she's just got to warm up a little bit today. That's fine. Oh, no. Oh, what happened? <laughs> that was weird. That was so weird. She's like, what? Well, missed the attack, but no. Nope. And then she died. There you go. Oh, good stuff right there. Coming back off stage with that side, side special. Got to watch out for it. Look, there's a few Amiibos that I'm absolutely 100% very afraid on how they're going to perform. As in, they're just so bad that 
I, I, like, I'm worried that, like, they're just gonna lose every match. That's what I'm... She keeps throwing out up special for no reason. Like, when she... There we go, there we go. Oh, oh good air dodge. Good DI there by Ryan. But, uh, she's throwing up that up special for no reason. She's gotta start connecting that better. She's been doing that in training. Come on. Let's, I wanna see... I wanna see it once here. Let's do... There we go. I like... Uh, down air's fine. I like down air. We worked on that quite a bit. And then, yeah, I had to work on smashes. But isn't that the thing with Bayonetta? The more you use a smash attack, doesn't the weaker it becomes? Isn't that like a thing with Bayonetta, I believe? I'd have to double check my facts, but I thought that was a thing. So, yeah, uh, these, yes, good dodge. Forward smash for the win? Nope, that's fine. Back throw, okay. Fire, ah, late. That's okay, that's okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Ryan, Ryan's it, Ryan's in right. He's got a chance to win this. He's also one one attack away from uh, being eliminated. Bayonetta just, Yay! she did that. She still has recovery issues. All right, horrible recovery issues set aside. Three. Two matches down and um, not seeing what I wanted to see so far. Like I've been saying, the combo game, we worked on that in training. Maybe I should just start making those like videos on the channel to show the actual training. Maybe I should do that. It could be fun, but like, there we go. Nonsense breaking out cloud as usual. Uh-oh, uh-oh. 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 See? Okay. Let me let me be honest. That was one thing I was uh, thinking about for uh, her spirit set. Was maybe giving her, her jump, uh, you know, more increase to the jump. Because, well, we all know how hor horrible her jump is. There we go. There's a little bit started. I've seen her pull against me. She's pulled out, like, like, a true combo of, like, four or five moves. It, it's weird. I, I like it. They just need to start seeing it a little bit more, you know? Like, that, that's what she was all for. Like, she was broken in Wii U 3DS. We can all agree on that. She's nowhere near that in Smash Wii U 3DS. Or, I mean, in Smash Ultimate. But, uh, I think th there's still potential. Like, her, the, I think, update 8.0. See, there you go. Nice. This is a decent little combo. There we go. Forward Smash. Not bad. Not terrible. But, um, so, uh, yeah. Her spirit set, man, I was... I was kind of like all over the place when I was trying to decide what to go for. There we go. There we go. There we go. There's some stuff. You know, she's, she's starting to warm up a bit. I like this. By the way, I didn't even mention this, but uh, Ryan, first try gang. First try gang. Be Bayonetta. I know she's not one of the most impressive, but she's still a great boss. So first try gang. Nice, nice job. Shout out to Ryan right there. But the, look, hey, hey. Every, my, my goal is to turn every character into a raid boss. And look, that, that includes the, the, the terrible. That includes the bad ones, okay? Now, if I went... Oh, no. Ugh. No recovery. There we go. That's a nice... There's, there's something. Something of a combo. She's still behind right now. Gail's still... Uh-oh. 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 A little bit of damage there. Oh, she could have caught the down tilt. Or down... Why do I always call it a down tilt? That's so weird. She could have caught that down air a little bit better. That would have been a stock right there, but she's got, she's got work to do. It's a raid boss. That's something I never want to say, and I should never have to say. A raid boss has so much work to do to get a stock. See, like, that's, that's another challenge with her. Like, what do you do for KOs? Obviously, her smash attacks are pretty decently powerful, but again, I have to double check that because I'm pretty sure the more you use a smash attack for, at least during that stock, I think the weaker it gets. So, like... It, it, yeah, she might here and now every now and then she's gonna have a little difficulty trying to uh, You know finish off a stock like right now. Gale Storm and Samus are 240 percent so That's why I, I thought when I, when I was doing the training the combos they were they were popping off She was doing well against me, but uh, not so much today. Not so much today Uh oh, uh oh, she's in danger. She's in danger. Yep, Yay. she goes. Two people this week joined the first try gang. Wow, she can combo. I swear she can. We've seen like very tiny glimpses of it in like uh, in the in the arena so far. But um, going uh, going back to my point uh, just a little bit ago, Bayonetta has never been one of my most played characters by any stretch of the imagination. Nice job, Kirby. Nice job, Kirby. There you go. Take Ben Bayonetta off stage. I like that. I like it. I don't. That's not cheese. Definitely. That's definitely not cheese. Either is that, I guess. 
So yeah, these, this arena might be a little shorter this week, but hey, she's still here to participate. You guys are still here to try to defeat her, which, well, Ryan and uh, Yale Storm already have done. Ooh, there is, there's a nice little dodge right there. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Okay, she's back. She's fine. She's fine. She doesn't use Witch Time too much. Uh, it, it was hard to train that, to be honest. It was hard to train Witch Time to try to get her to actually use the move because that's what you got to do in training. You have, you have to let them hit the move. And if she's never... Oh, my God. Oh, no, she survived. I thought it was over. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Arson's out. This one. This one's going to be over, isn't it? This one's going to be over. Arson said... Yep. Two for two. Ryan's on his game today. Doctor 11 coming back again. Um, I'm very worried. Can I just say very worried? What is... Where does... Where is this coming from? Okay, why wouldn't you? Why were you not doing this earlier, Bayonetta? Excuse me? Like, that's what, I, that's what I've been trying to preach. She has combo potential as an amiibo. She's just been afraid to show it off. No, that's not what I meant. Get your mind out of the gutter. Oh. Horrible recovery, check. Yeah, that, that's, that's still a thing that happens. That's still a thing that happens. Look at this. How many times did she just hit you? Bowser's at 178% when she throws him, and yet he still practically goes nowhere like he's at 0%. I still don't, I'm still, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. One more? Can we, can we see it? Is it about to end? Man, the more that I keep watching this, the more I keep feeling worse and worse about Bayonetta. Like, she has nothing, but she has potential, which is, like, how is that even a sentence? Like, she. Her throws are terrible. You have to get a smash attack for a KO. Okay, right on cue. I like that. Oh, she wait. She just evened it up. Look, look at me. I'm, I'm already counting her out. I'm already counting her out. So, uh, let me let me talk about a couple other amiibos that I would not have any any sort of. Um, we'll say I don't think I'd have any confidence in if I turn him. Well, once I do turn him into a raid boss. Those would be Sheik, uh, Zero Suit, Samus, and probably Duck Hunt. Those would be the three right now that come to mind where, uh-oh, is this it? Is this it? She, wow, okay, she's able to come back. I like it, appreciate that. Appreciate it coming back. Uh-oh, make, she actually gonna be able to make a comeback right here? Uh-oh, oh, we could hit that smash attack, that would've been big. That could've been big. There you go, there you go. We need a smash attack though, Bayonetta. We need a smash attack. We need it right now. You got you got to do it. Uh-oh. Gale Storm's winding up. Gale Storm's going for the finishing blow. I mean, look. It's only going to... There it is. Yeah. Yep. Gale Storm and Ryan both defeat the raid boss with two different characters. Whew. Okay. That was not a nice little, nice little uh, combo right there. I like that. Uh, but I've been noticing. She kind of does her combo game better against... Uh, the, the bigger, the heavier opponents. And that makes sense. Because, like, I when, I when I was training against her and I was having her fight against my King K. Rule, obviously K. Rule, I'm pretty sure he's the second heaviest character on the roster. It makes sense, right? So, she, again, Amiibos will not learn specific matchup. They don't learn, like, um, Bayonetta wouldn't learn a Bowser matchup. She'll learn which moves and how to use them against heavyweight characters. She'll learn that better. Um, then obviously the 1v1 against specific characters. So that's why during training, it's always important to once your amiibo is level 50, whether it's just a vanilla amiibo, whether it's a raid boss, whatever it is, it's always important to train against heavyweights, uh, you know, maybe a light heavyweight and then like normal character and then even light characters. It's always important to train against all like different weight classes. That way they can, uh, the, the amiibo themselves will understand how to use their... Well, not in this case. They're not going to recover better. But to, they'll, they'll know which moves to use when. Was that... Oh! I almost thought that was going to be it. I almost thought that was going to be it. I thought she, I thought she was going to get a KO off of a... Off of a... Oh. She got a KO off of a smash. But not a throw. I guess throws are impossible. That's what you like to see. Look at it. Look, it's, it's a thing of beauty once it, once it finally connects. It's so amazing to watch. It's so amazing to watch. I love it. 
But again, we're in the final home stretch. Has not lost his stock yet. Only one. Only one. Blue, um, so, uh, yeah, I gotta mention, this is Blue's, uh, maybe I did mention this earlier, but this, Blue, this is his first appearance in the Raid Boss Arena ever, and I'm gonna be honest, definitely got some skill. This Rob is actually pretty legit. I like all the quick hitting attacks, racking up some damage. You got some nice little combos in there as well. I, I like this play style. I like this play style. This is uh, pretty fun to watch. I think uh, Blue has what it takes. Oh, nice. Good spike. Oh, yeah, I, I, I'm a sucker for good. I'm a sucker for spikes. I absolutely love that. Man, Edda, that was rude. He spiked you. He's he's allowed to get his moment in the, in the, in the sun. All right, didn't need to KO him that quickly. Oh, <laughs> send him back to the scrapyard one final time. GG's blue. Ooh, Dr. Levin, one final chance. Come in and clutch here. He's got the lead right now. Two, uh, he's up two stocks to one. Uh, he's at 102, but Bayonetta, we you know she could have a little bit of difficulty trying to finish off a stock. She got a shot here. Or not she. <laughs> Dr. Levin's got a shot, shot here. 167 about for Bowser. Able to, well, he's, he missed the forward smash right there. That was kind of, uh, that was a little bit unfortunate. That could have been huge damage on Bayonetta. She does ha rack up the uh, the, uh, the the combos a bit better on the heavy characters. Forward smash, Doctor Eleven gets it. Was that like the fifth or sixth loss for the raid boss? Oh no, shield break! It's not gonna KO by any means. She's at zero percent. So that was good. Uh oh, fifty six. Min 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 no Min Min no. She was so close. Min Min almost had it. I I can't say it enough. Bayonetta has potential there it's there the recovery issue and that, oh, okay all, all all my amiibos they they always fall into that forward charged up forward smash no matter if it's ganondorf or ryan with ike or whoever it is they always like dodge into it or roll into it and like, even if i don't do that during training they still do it so i'm pretty sure it's definitely a okay one one but i'm pretty sure that's got to be somewhat hard coded into the to, to the amiibos at this point it's like it, it gets a it gets a little ridiculous seeing that every amiibo every raid box it's like all right they ain't gonna fall into that and then they fall into it at least she's she's got blocking these a little bit better than other ones but she's still been hit by two of them please no okay okay we got a shot here uh oh forward smash Woo, she's able to get it she's got them long legs you know you know i mean not that i noticed her long legs like, what what? What, what? what are we talking about again? Oh yeah, the raid boss is going on. That's right. Oh god! There it is. Yep. Another first try gang member this week. What does that make? Three? Oh my god. Alright, here we are. Final two matches. Brendan up first. Oh, I like that he's bringing out Banjo. I like he's bringing out Banjo. Ooh, nice little start there by uh, Bayonetta. Oh my god, great start by Bayonetta. You know, I have not called her by her raid boss name once in this entire video. By the way, it's Umbra Witch. Yes, I'm I'm very creative like that. Like I said, I, I've never played Bayonetta, like in Smash Bros. or her games. So I know. Oh, what? Where did where did that even just come from? She hasn't done that once this whole video. What was that combo? I like that. If we would have seen more of that, you know, there'd be like more legit. Uh, she might she might have put up. Oh my god. Then, Banjo tries to go for the golden one. She's just like, nah, no, nah, no, nah, I'm stopping that. Yeah, she's faced my Banjo quite a bit, so she might, uh, she might understand Banjo. Not, not the matchup, but she understands which kind of moves to use and when, and what to block against. So she does understand all that stuff. But Brendan, come, oh, able to just narrowly avoid that one. Good golden wing. I like it. Good grenade coming back. Oh, see, that's one thing I hope they fix with Banjo in a. Uh, in a future patch his uh, forward smash i wish it would have more reach around the back oh my god speaking of reach check out that arm oh, oh man she loves she loves that when she grabs an opponent she loves just slapping the crap out of them like look look at that that's like 5 10 100 slap or something elf did that when his raid boss you know raid boss omar or raid boss elf you know, he had the good old elf slap. Bayonetta's got the Bayonetta slap, too. Oh, 
yourself out right there. We are at our final match of the week for you guys in the Great Boss Arena. So, I think, as expected, she, Bayonetta, the Raid Boss, I think she did kind of what I expected overall. She wasn't gonna dominate by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, did she have glimpses of what she can do? Yeah, I'd say so. But at the same time, a lot of flaws and a lot of missteps, but um, it, w it was still fun. Cause like, that's the whole thing, right? Like I've told you guys numerous times, I plan to uh, turn every single character into a raid boss at some point. So, we get to do the extreme fun ones? Yes, those are awesome. But do we also have to work on the characters that are, well, really bad in terms of being an amiibo? Yeah, we gotta do them too, but that's okay. Raid bosses win, raid bosses lose. You guys win and you guys lose as well, so the only thing that matters in this whole thing is as long as people have fun, that's all, that, that's really what I care about, right? That's all I really care about. Of course, I'll be honest, when I first started uh, the raid boss all the way back in season one, week one with King Crusher, the only thing I was like honestly worried about was my raid bosses winning all the time. And then I realized that was kind of a really, kind of a stupid mindset to have. It was like, look, it's still Smash Bros. Everything and anyone can be beaten in this, in any type of matchup any at any time. So the more that I started thinking about Amiibos, the more I was like, I, I, I have fun with this. So therefore, as long as you guys have fun, that's all that matters for these raid bosses. And uh, you guys seem to enjoy them, right? You keep coming back every week. So I am pretty, uh, pretty, uh, pretty grateful for that. I definitely got to give you guys a uh, big shout out for that. You guys come back week in and week out. Very fun to see. I like that. But uh, Jose, this is his last shot. Well, this is everybody's. Well, not everybody. But this is the last match for the video. We'll see if uh, he can at least pull off a stock here. I think he can do it. I mean, Bayonetta. She's at 93%. She's in range. Oh, wow. She actually got it with the down uh, I always say down tail. It's down air. I, I know some moves. Dreadful. Okay, I get, I get my shot. I get my one chance. We'll see if I can defeat the raid boss. This will be the first time I would do this on video for one of these extra little challenge things. But, uh, yeah, so, again, like, I, I stated how many times... In the video right she played she played decently like she's got potential she has potential it's just her AI needs a lot of improving there we go just projectile let's go come here exactly but if her AI gets a little bit um excuse you okay I wasn't expecting that but uh, good on you for that no I don't think so come on let's go yeah I'm, I'm beating this red boss I'm beating this red boss hold on back here nope Way off base on that one. Okay. Ah, oh, she didn't want. She didn't want to fall for it. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I got projectiles. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Oh, get down there! Woo! That feels so satisfying to connect that. Oh no 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 no! Now it's not. Okay. Okay. Fine. We seen that though. It's kind of like towards the end of the video. She was really starting to kind of put together some sort of combos. Oh my! I'm not even facing the right way again. Please, K rule. Hey, rule. There you go. But yeah, we've seen that in the video. She started putting combos together later in the video, unfortunately. So it, like, if she could have started with the combos that I know she can do, she did it in training. She's done it in training. I promise you that. There, excuse you. No. No. Got to go back to projectile game here for a second. Hold on. Uh, I say no to that. Show off the stomach, baby. Show it off. We, we winning. I'm winning. Beating this raid boss. There we go. One life left. One stock left. We got this. We got this. Um, no, you should have been out of invincibility frames. Forward tilt. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to deal damage. That's fine. Do your stupid witch time. Do the witch time. Let's go. Oh, what? Oh, I wanted that. Oh, I didn't want that. I did not want, <laughs> did not want that. Let's go. Come here, Bale. Come here. There we go. Nope. Dash attack, baby. Hit him with that. Hit him with it all day. Oh, what? Yo, witch time is stupid. Who thinks witch time's stupid? It can be. She doesn't use it too much. That's hard to train. It is hard to train onto a Bayonetta because you actually have to let her hit the attack. But that means she actually has to do the attack. Oh, jeez. Okay. Coming down. Let's go. No. Oh, I, w 
wasn't facing the right way. I want it. You know, I want. I'm good. Let's see if we can get that. Get the spike to end it. Not even close. Not even close. With. With. No. Coming down. Ooh, oh. Yes. Oh, it wasn't a spike. But hey, beat the raid boss at least. All right, that's gonna wrap it up for this week. Yeah. Probably how I expected. Maybe a little worse. But again, I was nervous. I didn't know what to expect. Anyway. Uh, big shout out to everybody that came by to participate uh, against the newest raid boss. Maybe it wasn't a raid boss in terms of how raid bosses usually go, but again, everybody's got to be a raid boss. Even even the, the bad amiibos. We're going to turn them. We're going to try at least. We're going to try to turn them into a raid boss. Anyway, that is it for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed. So you want a sneak peek for next week? All right. I guess I could give you a sneak peek. 